Hi, I've been quite bored and depressed, so I thought, uh, why don't I try and make some cookies? Uh, and I've been really craving some oatmeal and raisin cookies. And before anyone says anything, if you have a problem with oatmeal and raisin cookies, first of all, grow the fuck up. Second of all, stop being so basic, all right? They're nice, okay? But anyway, uh, I've been craving some, so... I just wanted to make a video of me making them because if I mess them up while the camera's on then we can kind of have like a little laugh and a little chuckle and a chortle about it um, and I think it'll be funny uh, hopefully it goes well I have all the ingredients over there so this is not a good camera angle because I'm having to like bend down and shit but yeah I'll go grab everything over there and I'll read you off the ingredients that I've written down so you can make this at home if you want. First of all, flour, oats, brown sugar, other sugar, raisins, unsalted butter, vanilla extract, that's extra, yeah, vanilla extract, brown cinnamon, and bicarbonate of soda, one large egg and the recipe that i'm using didn't really call for this but i saw another one did um it actually called for molasses and we don't have molasses here we do have a uh, treacle but treacle the ball lake to get out of the little tin because it's so sticky so i'm using golden syrup and i'm gonna hope that the dark brown sugar is gonna do what the molasses should have done which is i presume you know make a nice kind of deep caramelized taste and then this is just gonna be for shits and giggles i guess a little bit of salt uh so that's everything can't really see it hang on okay uh now i'm gonna i'm gonna measure all these out um and i'll be back in a bit there has been a significant passage of time but with the power of movie magic we're back. Uh, so everything's measured out. Um, I'll tell you what we have. I have my little list here. So in here we have 125 grams of uh, plain flour, half teaspoon of cinnamon, half teaspoon of baking soda, and a little dash of salt. Uh, here we have ugh, uh, 150 grams of oats, plain rolled oats. Ugh. Here we have 150 grams of raisins, just there. Um, we have 50 grams of uh, granulated sugar and 100 grams of brown sugar. Like I say, I've used dark brown sugar. You can use light brown, apparently. Um, one large egg, uh, 115 grams of softened butter. There's a little paper towel. Um, and then the rest of it I haven't added yet because it's got to be coming later in the process. So, yeah. Let's crack on, I guess. First step is just to mix dry ingredients together. Everything's already in here. Uh, just gonna whiz with the whisk. Funny. Uh, and then, you know, mixing the oats. I don't know why I couldn't, I probably could have just added the oats in when I added the flour in, but we're here now. I've used like every bowl in this house to do this. So yeah, give that a Got a whiz so everything's all mixed together. Bowl acquired. So next, a uh, whisk butter and sugar till combined. Add egg, vanilla, and syrup till combined. Okay. So the actual recipe said you needed a stand mixer. Um, we don't have one of those. Uh, I'm pretty sure we had like a like a hand whisk, but I also don't know where that is. So we're gonna have to use. Good old fashioned elbow grease with these guns right here. So yeah, let's just add the butter. So I'll soften now because there was a significant time difference from the first clip and this clip. Uh, so significant that I had chance to put my washing on, have the washing finish, and then put it up to dry. So yeah, um, I'm gonna cut that butter actually. That is, that is a big thing of butter. Okay. Butter going in. 
I've used, like I said, I've used like every fucking bowl in this house. You know, <laughs> baking is supposed to be fun. I am sure this will get fun at some point. Um, now the sugar. Okay. I'm wondering if I should do this with my hands. Um, I think no. I'll just, you know, I'll just use the wooden spoon. The old fashioned wooden spoon. Um, you can't go wrong, really. Uh, glass bowl on a granite, well, not granite, I don't know what that is actually. But glass bowl on a hard surface isn't going to be loud as fuck if it like, you know, moves about at all, which it will. This is, oh god, okay. okay there's going to have to be another time skip for this. Okay, I'll be back in a bit. There's been another passage of time. Um, I tried to use my hands, it didn't really work. I tried to look for the uh, hand mixer. Again, I don't know where it is, so that didn't work. I tried to use a normal whisk, and that was a terrible idea, because it all got caught in the little sprongs. So back to the wooden spoon it is. Um, it says till well combined, and this looks about as well combined as it's going to get in this form. So we're just going to move on to the next step, which is add the egg vanilla syrup till combined. So I'm just going to crack the egg in. Hope I don't get any shell, but no, knowing me, I will. Oh, no. Stay there. Next, the vanilla. How much? One teaspoon. Quite a lot. Oh, that's, she thick. She's a thick girl. I thought it would be more liquid. I mean, I guess it is a liquid, but it's like more of a um, like cough syrup consistency. That's gross. I'm gonna wanna use that as a comparison. And then, ugh, this is, you know, this is my homebrew uh, addition, which is one tablespoon of golden syrup. And before when I said we don't have molasses over here, I'm sure that we do. Uh, I just don't know where it is. Because I looked in the baking aisle and it wasn't there, but there was treacle. Um, why not? Never hurt anybody. Um, yeah, there was treacle, but like I say, it's, they come in like these little metal um, tins. Um, so it's kind of annoying to sort out. Uh, It's just, it's literally pure sugar. We need to keep mixing. So I'll be back in a minute again. Mmm. I mean, it smells nice. You can't really go wrong with, you know, butter and sugar and vanilla and cinnamon and shit. I guess the cinnamon's not in there yet. Okay. It says... Well, I wrote down stir till combined, but the it's quite runny. Um, I think this is about as combined as it's gonna get. So the next step is to gradually add the dry ingredients, which are still in this little bowl, well, little bowl, <laughs> this rather large bowl. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna do that. Let's, you know, add some of that. Do about half. I really hope these are nice. They look like they're gonna be nice just from the um just from the you know paste, the batter, I don't know what you call it, the dough. There's the word. I am a weakling because I can already feel this uh twinge in my bicep from all this mixing. Okay, got the rest. It's getting quite thick. You know, I might um, go in with my hand. Hands, uh, plural. Just so it's, because it's kind of awkward, because it keeps sticking to the spoons. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna go in with the old thingies. First of all, I'm gonna wash my hands. Always wash your hands. Okay, the next step is to add the raisins. 
So it's quite a lot of raisins. That is a lot of raisins actually. That might be quite a, too many raisins. I don't mind raisins. They're like one of the few fruits I can actually eat without gagging because um, of my autism. But that's quite a lot. Maybe it'll be fine. I'm sure it's fine. I'm following a recipe from an actual baker, so I'm sure they wouldn't steer me wrong. Ugh. God. So, that's all mixed. You can see there. Looking good. Um, and then the step after that, let me see. Yeah, I need to refrigerate this for at least 30 minutes. Um, presumably so they don't spread out too much. Uh, let me see if there's room in the fridge to put this giant bowl. There actually is. I'm shocked. Okay, so uh, I'll be back in 30 minutes. In the meantime, I'm gonna clean up, prep. That was a good noise. Prep the uh, bacon trays, and yeah, we'll get the bad boys in the oven and have this place smelling delicious. And we're back. Uh, it's now raining. Um, we do have a skylight, so I'm hoping it's not going to be too loud. Uh, but yeah, it's been. It's been at least an hour. Uh, I've eaten dinner in the meantime. Um, so yeah, let's get the dough out. See how it's looking. Also, I told a lie. I said it was gonna go in, in a bowl. Apparently you need to go in, in like cling film. So yeah, this is all nice and cool now. I'm not sure how I'm gonna get it onto the bacon trays. So this recipe says that it makes um, about 24 cookies, which is a lot of cookies. I only have two baking trays, so this may have to be a multiple tray operation where one tray goes in and then, you know, that one finishes and another tray comes out. But I've already washed my hands, so we're gonna try and get some stuff on there. Actually, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use a spoon to get, to get the dough out and I'm gonna just use my hands and roll it into a little bowl and squash it down like that. Okay, look at the little, little hockey pucks. Okay, so these are all in little kind of piles now. I've kind of uh, winged it on some of these amounts. Um, there's 15 little pucks here, there's supposed to be 24. I'm sure it's fine. Uh, I'm sure there's nothing significantly wrong. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna roll these into little balls, press them down, and get all the trays lined. Oh, the oven's already uh, preheating, I don't know if you can see that. It's at 180 degrees Celsius, that is. Um, I'm not sure on the Fahrenheit. I'll link the recipe I'm using down below, so if anyone is interested in making these then you can go for it. Hmm. I'm wondering if I can fit these all on. I might have to do some rearranging in a little bit. Ew. Right, so uh, that's all the cookies on the trays. You can see that, so that's um, a 16, I think. Eight per tray. Oops. Uh, so the oven's preheated. Uh, these have got to go in for 10 to 12 minutes. Um, let's whack them in. Right. We'll do 10 minutes. Well, we'll do five. How about that? Oop. We'll do five and then we'll flip them around. And yeah. Oh, that oven is dirty. You can see. There they are. Right. There will be another passage of time and I will be back when they are ready. They are ready. Oh. Oh, ho, ho. oh yeah, oh yeah. So those are looking and smelling pretty delicious. 
Uh, I'm gonna let them cool off for a little bit, um, so they're not as they're still a bit soft. I can see um, before I transfer them to the cooling rack over there. Um, so yeah, this is this is looking like it's gonna be a success. A success for the bloody book, lads. Hell fucking yeah, dude. So this one's gonna be the taste test. It's still warm. It smells nice. And not bloody bad. Very, very sweet. Very sweet. I think I could have done with doing a bit more um, cinnamon. Maybe instead of half a teaspoon, it's like a full teaspoon. But yeah, those are nice. Like I say, very, very sweet. But very nice. Yeah. I think this is a this is a win in my book. Yeah, so I'm gonna go eat this cookie, leave the rest of these to cool, and clean up. Thanks for watching!